In the quaint coastal village of Seabreeze, 14-year-old Emma was known for her adventurous spirit and unwavering curiosity. Hello, Miriam. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Emma. Okay, have a great day. One wow. misty morning while exploring the cliffs, Emma stumbled upon a hidden cave adorned with shimmering crystals. Inside, to her astonishment, lay a magnificent crystal dragon, its scales glittering like gemstones bound by enchanted chains. Please, help me. Emma was scared at first, but developed courage to help and set the dragon free. Thank you, the dragon said. She narrated all that happened to Emma. A long ago, an ancient evil named Malakar sought to harness the dragon's crystal magic to plunge the world into darkness. To stop him, the crystal shards that held their power were scattered and guarded by elemental dragons, each fierce and protective of their domain. Determined to save her village and the world, Emma agreed to embark on the quest. Loomis guided her to the first shard, guarded by Ignis, the fire dragon, in the volcanic cavern of flames. Facing scorching heat and fiery obstacles, with Loomis's help, she earned Ignis's respect by proving her pure intentions, securing the first shard. Their journey took them through the storm peaks to seek Eris, the wind dragon, and into the deep forests to find Terra, the earth dragon. Along the way, she learned to harness the crystal's magic, growing stronger and more confident. As they gathered the final shard from the icy glacier realm, Malakar emerged, intent on seizing the complete crystals. A fierce battle ensued, with Emma and Loomis combining their powers against the dark sorcerer, but Emma managed to defeat Malakar, sealing him away forever. With peace restored, the elemental dragons honored Emma's bravery, and Loomis bestowed upon her a crystal pendant as a token of their bond. Returning to Seabreeze, Emma was hailed as a hero, her story inspiring generations to come. Emma and the dragon flew around for more adventure. Hey Loomis, take it easy, you're going too fast. Calm down, little girl. You will be fine. And that is the end of my story. If you enjoyed the story, please kindly click that subscribe button, like share the video and place a comment below. Thank you so much. Over to you, Klobak. So without wasting any time, let us go into the business of the day. Today, I'm excited to give away the Edimacore AI tool for free. With Edimacore, you can easily edit your videos and make use of its text-to-speech feature. You can explore all the amazing capabilities of Edimacore by checking out my video on it. Just click the link in the description below to learn more. To get started, I'll demonstrate by copying the URL of this video, pasting it into the tool, and fetching the results. Now, the first winner of the Edimacore AI tool giveaway for 30 days is at Everything Storyteller. If you're the owner of this username, feel free to reach out to me. The giveaway would be giving to another after three days if I do not get your email. Email me using the email on my channel description with a screenshot of the part where your name was shown. Good luck. Let's keep watching. We still have one more to go. All right, so I gave ChatGPT a prompt. I asked, can you list 10 animation stories about dragons and maybe a brave boy or girl, etc. ChatGPT went ahead and generated these 10 different story highlights for me. I went through the stories and decided to choose chapter 6, which is the sixth story. Then I asked ChatGPT to generate a story based on number 6. I said, I would like you to write a short story on number 6, but please change the name to Emma and the Crystal Dragon. Write the story in 350 words and make it interesting. ChatGPT developed and generated a story for me titled Emma and the Crystal Dragon. Next, I gave it another prompt. I need you to remember this. The story is in Disney 3D animation style with exaggerated faces and looks. The images should be in the aspect ratio for YouTube and I need you to store this in your memory. ChatGPT responded, okay, got it, and stored the information in its database. Then, I asked it to describe the character, Emma. As you can see, it provided a description of Emma, and then I asked it to generate an image of Emma. The first image it generated wasn't good enough, so I requested, can you generate this in the expert ratio I provided, which is the YouTube aspect ratio? I mentioned that if you want to use an aspect ratio for YouTube, you can change it to 16, 9. The new image it provided was better, and I liked this picture. After that, I gave it more prompts. I went to the story, copied the first part, and said, Generate the scene for this part. It was similar to copying a particular portion of the story and asking ChatGPT to generate the scenes. However, I wasn't satisfied with the images it generated. 
You must understand that when you copy and paste most times on ChatGPT, you might get something different from what you need or want. It's usually better to read through the story and generate a prompt yourself. This is what I did. I prompted, generate Emma inside the cave of hidden crystals, and I really loved the image it produced. I decided to use this for my thumbnail. Next, I said, generate the image of the magnificent crystal dragon. Its scales glitter like gemstones bound by enchanted chains. The dragon is facing the camera and talking. This is the image I received. As you can see, there was an unwanted chain in the image. I removed it using the Remove BG tool on Canva. Let me quickly show you how. Open Canva and upload the image. Click on Edit, then select Magic Remove. Click on the chain to highlight it, then click the Remove button. Once done, download the edited image and proceed to animate it. If you need to remove anything from your image, upload it to Canva and use the Magic Remove tool. After removing the unwanted elements, I generated another image. Emma working with the dragon as they move out of the cave. I love this image. This is how I read through my text, followed the story and generated these images. You can do the same by understanding what you're working on and repeating the same process to create amazing animations. In this particular image, I had to use Magic Remove to delete an extra character that the AI had added, ensuring the image matched my vision. By doing this, I generated an exceptional image. If the initial image isn't good enough, you can regenerate it to achieve something better. You might be asking how the images remain so consistent. There are several ways to ensure consistency. I asked ChatGPT to store the description of Emma in its database, which it did. This way, whenever you type Emma, ChatGPT refers to that description and generates the same image. Another method is to copy the prompt you used initially and paste it whenever you need to generate an image of Emma. This ensures the same picture of Emma is created each time. Now that you understand this, let's go ahead and animate our images. To begin, open Minimax AI and navigate to the Image to Video section. Once there, click on the Upload button. Locate your images in your system, then select and upload the image you want to work with. For this example, I'll start with a village setting. Type in your description, such as, the camera pans around the village, zooming in and zooming out. Then choose 12v01, live, and click create. While waiting for this video to generate, you can upload more images, as Minimax AI allows you to work with up to five images or videos at the same time. For the next upload, I chose an image of a girl walking toward the camera and waving at another girl on the left. I added the description, the girl on the right is walking toward the camera and waving at the girl on the left, and clicked Generate. You can customize your description however you like, or even copy the original image prompt. Either method works perfectly. Next, I described an image of Emma seated on a flying dragon. Once you input the description, click Generate. While these videos are being created, you can speed up the process by generating additional videos simultaneously. After all your videos are complete, download them to your system to prepare for editing. To upscale your videos, log into CapCut and access the Magic Tools section. Scroll until you find Video Upscaler and click on it. A new page will open where you can upload your video. For instance, select a video, upload it, and choose your preferred upscaling setting. I usually upscale to 2x. Once the upscaling is complete, click Export, scroll down, and click Download. Repeat this process for all your videos, adding sound effects and background music. Now that your videos are ready, the next step is to find sound effects and background music. Head over to Pixabay and select the Sound Effects section. For example, if your video includes a dragon, search for Dragon and browse through the sound effects. Select the one you like and download it. Repeat this process for other sound effects you may need. To find background music, go to the music section of Pixabay and type keywords such as dramatic. For example, you can download a dramatic background track for your video. Alternatively, you can use platforms like Suno or Epidemic Sound to source your music. Choose whichever platform works best for you. Final editing in CapCut. Finally, open CapCut to edit your video. Combine the upscaled video, sound effects and background music into one seamless production. As you can see, the entire video has been uploaded, including the background sound and sound effects. I also added some adjustments to enhance the video. To add adjustments, simply click on the adjustment tool and drag it down to apply it to the desired portion of the video. 
Make sure to drag it to the end where you want the adjustment to take effect. Next, I added animations to the videos, such as fade in and zoom in effects. You can choose any animation you prefer to enhance your video's visual appeal. Additionally, I incorporated transitions between clips by clicking on the transition option, which offers several effects to create a smoother flow. After that, I uploaded my voiceover to align the images and videos accordingly. This ensures that the visuals sync perfectly with the narration. Let's take a little break guys. Let's go ahead and pick a second winner. And this time, the winner is Kids Nursery Rhymes 01. If you're the owner of this username, kindly contact me using the email address provided in my channel description. Good luck to everyone, and I look forward to hearing from the winners. Back to the video. I also downloaded sound effects from Pixabay as previously described. For example, I added dragon sound effects by searching for dragon in Pixabay's sound effects section and selecting the ones I liked. Similarly, for magical sound effects, I searched for magic and chose appropriate sounds to add to the videos. To add captions, I navigated to the text section and clicked on auto caption. You can choose from various caption templates. I selected a caption style that suits my video and customized the captions as needed to match the content. Once all elements are aligned and the transitions are smooth, I review the video to ensure everything is in place. I make any necessary adjustments to improve the overall quality of the video. Finally, I export the video by clicking on export and then download it to save the final version to my computer. Alright, before we wrap things up, don't forget to download your video from CapCut using the 4K video resolution for better quality and clarity. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and share it. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. Thank you for always being there. You can also check out some of my other videos in the description. See you soon.